doesn't look very comfy. <laughs> Are you comfy there? Hey, is that where you're gonna stay? Okay. He was laid here like a bread loaf, and then I just stroked him and he flopped down here. <laughs> One of his paws entirely under there. Little guy. Good morning, how are we all doing today? Welcome to another cosy Sunday vlog. I want to have full disclosure on this channel and say that this morning I woke up and I just felt awful. I felt so tired and just like, you know when you wake up with less energy than when you went to sleep? <laughs> and I don't know, I just laid there for ages. I mean, Echo woke us up at 7 and I was still laid in bed at 10 o'clock because I just thought, oh, what a day. <laughs> but, you know, I sat there and I thought about you guys and I thought, I just really want to be able to give you content even on days when I don't feel good. and. I've come to realise that I don't need to do anything special in a day for you guys to enjoy my vlogs. And when I woke up, it was snowing. And I mean, it doesn't snow very often in life, especially here in the UK. So I thought I would just film the day and see where it takes us. I'm starting to feel a little bit better than I did when I woke up. And that's a good thing. So we'll see what happens today and I'll just bring you along. I struggle with chronic fatigue syndrome and some days I'm better than others. And some days I just feel like a battery that needs charging or just been unplugged for too long and I just try and keep going um, so I'm just going to try and take it slow today I might muster up the energy to go for a walk um, but I'm just going to film as I go because I think it's important to do that and to just keep plodding on even if it's only in a small little way so I'm going to have a relaxing day but I'm also going to be able to film this and that will feel like a real accomplishment um, because you guys mean a lot to me and I really enjoy sharing my life with you all and you know it's always nice to hear your comments and feedback so yes I think today what I'm gonna do is take Echo out for a walk this morning it's such a beautiful sunny day and before it starts snowing again or before all the snow melts I want to make sure we take full advantage I really want to get a nice picture of him and I really just I don't know it's the deepest snow we've had yet so it was really cute to see how it reacts to it so that's the first thing let's go do that <laughs> I'm especially liking your fashion statement, Dom. Oh yes, it's the only way. And feet. He's forgot how to do that part. <laughs> and stand. Hey. Uh, oh, oh. Are you coming? And come. On. One paw. <laughs> Two paw. Look at all this snow. And it's a blue sky right now. It's enjoying the sunshine. It's actually really warm out here today. I feel a bit overdressed, but when it's snowing, you have to take full advantage. <laughs> it's nice out here, isn't it? Do you reckon to that echo? That's the deepest snow you've been in. <laughs> Froze. <laughs> oh, oh, don't you go. Come on, then. Come on, come on, here. <laughs> oh, there it's it is. <laughs> You're not very good at this, are you? <laughs> Deeper than the last time. Look at all this water for us. I thought they were calling the so cute. <laughs> Look at the cold tail. <laughs> what are you up to? Flopping around. Hey, to go back in. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. This is how you soothe him. <laughs> Little Coco belly fluff. I'm gonna take it off then. Good job, Echo. Freedom! Did you enjoy that experience or endure it? <laughs> I'm not sure which one. 
So it's hard to know whether he actually enjoys going outside or not. We think he does. We think he really likes the fresh air. I think that given the choice with the window or door open, he probably wouldn't go out by himself. He expires very quickly, as you just saw, and he just does little pathetic meows. <laughs> and so that's when we decided to bring him back in. But it's nice to be able to let him have these different experiences and let him build his confidence up slowly but surely. <sighs> He's so cute. And is there anything better than a beautiful white rag doll in gorgeous snow? I'm so happy that it's blue skies today, and I'm so happy that I've been able to capture this as well. It's such a beautiful day. I think he feels much safer inside. <laughs> Dom's just gone down to the garden to get some more soil for his cat grass. He needs some more growing, so that's the plan. He's a little swishy swashy tail. Oh, I go. He could be out there, but he chose to come back in. Who's that in our garden, eh? Who is it? Is it Dad? Whoa, he is going crazy. <laughs> what have you done to your tent? It's all flopped. Hey, there we go. He reminds me of, um, what do we call them, Jack in a Box. <laughs> I've been trying to capture this for the longest time. When Echo's hungry, he just comes and sits at the fridge like this. <laughs> do you want some food, my little love? What's this that you've got down here? Hey, some foodies. So, for any of you who wanted an update on the situation, I decided that we would start putting a bowl over a plate. It's not the most seamless way to do it, but it's so much easier. Come on then. <laughs> and using a lot less plastic, so that's a good thing. There you go, my lovey. Good boy. He's been really enjoying this Luna and me food. He's been eating more of this than he ever did of any of the other foods, so we're getting through about one patty a day with him. And we got these the other day from Amazon. Oh no, it wasn't Amazon, it was Pets at Home. That was the cheapest option. So I got the chicken breast and the tuna fillet and he really, really likes the tuna ones. So we basically give him about a tin of this a day and a whole patty of the Luna and me. I'll show you that in case you've not watched my videos before. So these are the patties. I know this says it's for a dog. These are the bear patties and I wanted to try it for Echo. I don't think they're a complete food for a kitten or a cat. So probably won't buy these again but they didn't have any herbs added, so I wanted to see if he liked them more. Turns out he doesn't have any preference, so we'll keep getting him the cat version. But that's what they look like, so he has one of these a day. And like I said, he has a tin of the Thrive as well. Some days he's a little piggy, and he might eat a patty and a half, or he might have an extra tin of Thrive. Basically, we just go with him and see what he wants. Some days he's hungrier than others, and some days not so much. So today he's having a hungry, hungry hippo day, and I think he must be growing. <laughs> actually have an update <laughs> what did i say about hungry hippo he's just down that in about two minutes literally while i've been talking <laughs> so the other day i was looking at his teeth and i realized he had two canines and i'm like that's so weird why does he have two canines so i googled it and i found this thing on reddit i know it's not like a real credible source but it said one of them was a baby tooth and the other was an adult tooth and i was like oh, my baby boy's teething and since then he's lost both of them so he's just got two canines now Oh, it's just so cool that he's growing up. Come here, you. Got him. <laughs> My big boy's growing up. I can't believe how big he is, and he's so heavy. I actually think we might weigh him today and see how much heavier he is. The last time I weighed him, he was just over three kilograms. So we've got a lot of kitten going on right now. Do you want to show them your teeth? He says, no, Mum, I don't. It never focuses on Echo's face, because he's not a human. So it only focuses on me and never on him, and it's so annoying. He's so annoying, you go baby boy. Mm. I can't remember if I did an update in one of my last videos, but these are new. Well, they're old, but they're new. So these used to be brown and have these little, like, uh, twig things going all the way in. But we took them off, sanded them down, and then painted them, and stuck some wood on the back. And I'm just so much happier with how they look. I think that they make the house just look so so much brighter so we just changed excuse this um, Dom's still doing all of the I can never remember what this is called what is this no idea <laughs> um, but we just changed the handles kept the hinges the same and I just think that looks so much better it's just so much brighter it's just filled with Echo's toys this is football here's his new favorite toy and I showed you this all in my last video as well 
Right, so best wash up again. All I ever do is wash up Echo's plates. <laughs> I get so many questions about this. I will leave a link to it in the description box if any of you are interested. It's basically a radiator bed, so it's supposed to fit over the back of a radiator and then it warms, you know, warms the back up and it's really good for winter for your kittens. But we use it all the time at the table because Echo loves to be close to us. And as you all know, we do Etsy and it takes us a long time to wrap orders. So he really likes to be sat with us. He's just got a piece of bubble wrap. <laughs> you know, that really well-known cat toy. Um, but yeah, he really loves it. I think we need to see if there's a bigger version because he's quickly outgrown this one. But it's just got a metal frame all the way around and then this really soft cover. This comes all the way off and so you can actually machine wash it. But it's been worth its weight in gold. I think it was about 10 or 15 pounds. I actually got ours from Pets at Home. So if you don't want to buy online, then that's another good place to go. But, you know, it's not the most beautiful looking thing in the world, but it does the job for us. <laughs> oh, bitey boy. I actually think this is why he's been biting more recently, because obviously I think he's actually teething. So that'll do it. That'll do it, Mr. Man. <laughs> so I got these from Amazon. It's called a Fresh Breath Mint Stick because Echo's breath stinks at the minute and I think it's because he's teething. So these have got crushed mint inside, I believe. Um, and then the little, can you see the little strings? They're supposed to go like between his teeth and help to floss them, I guess. So we'll give him this and see how he responds. <laughs> you want it? Oh, what is it? What is it? <laughs> Take it then. Ready? Interested in the smell. I wonder if he'll bite it. You need to bite it, smelly breath man. That's it, good job. <laughs> hey. Well, I think it's a success. It makes me laugh. What a guy. He always goes down this little gap here when he can go around there quite well. But <laughs> he always sneaks down that gap. Just heard so much commotion. What are you doing, Echo? No! <laughs> he always tries to make things more fun by putting his toys on top of things. So this is a bag full of really nice biscuits and stuff. It's from my dad, so I'm one of his, uh, what do they call them these days? Care people, like, I mean, his support bubble, he's got an ass, he's disabled. Um, <laughs> so that's just waiting there until this snow dies down so I can take it to him. Oh boy, not safe for much longer, Dad. <laughs> Actually just noticed that it's snowing again. Oh, I'm so happy because it had started to thaw and I just really want it to stick around for a little bit longer. I think it's safe to say this has been a success. So if your kitten's teething or just loves to throw things around and chase them around on the floor, I highly recommend this toy. Does anybody else's kitten take the toys into the litter tray? He does it all the time. He doesn't keep them in there, he just goes in and then he runs out again. Ow! <laughs> That's my feet! <laughs> Funny little boy. Now you've done it, where's it gone? Another thing on the list, I don't know if it's for today, we'll see how I feel in a little while. Dan made this bookshelf and I think he's done a fantastic job of it. I really want to paint it white, so that's on my list of things to do. Cute. That's why this paint pot's here, so I think that's going to look really good once it's finished. It just helps this space, because this kitchen's actually really small, um, especially with his litter box here, so this just makes everything a bit more streamlined. <sighs> so I'm feeling like making some soup for lunch today, and it's always good to make soup, because then you can make it for the rest of the week as well, so... I'm going to use that butternut squash that I bought. I think it must be like two weeks ago now. Uh, I still haven't used it, so today's the day. I'm just going to roast everything. I'll show you what I'm going to do, but basically just going to roast it all and then let it all sit and then blend it all up. Really easy and you can do that while you're doing other things. So like I said before, I'm just replying to emails and sorting out my inbox because it gets crazy. Uh, so while I'm doing that, I'll be able to make my lunch at the same time. Two in one. Wouldn't be a cooking video if Echo didn't get involved. <laughs> 
What do you reckon? Are they good enough to eat? I reckon they are. So I've just got butternut squash, onion and garlic and I'm just going to chop them all up and pop them on a roasting dish. really comfy. <laughs> Excuse all of these. We had a delivery and these are all incense stick holders or I think yeah they are aren't they? Not incense sticks. So incense stick holders for Etsy. On the way upstairs I just had to show you this little guy. <laughs> I said to you all um, he doesn't fit on this stuff anymore. It was a few videos ago and I was like one day he won't fit there and then yesterday was the day it kept hitting his head on this beam up there. My little boy is getting so big. is ready and I've got my butternut squash soup. This is delicious. It's really sweet from the onion. I would probably suggest to put some potatoes in there as well just to make it a bit more hearty. And then I've got these cheese flavoured snacker jacks to go with it. believe how much it's snowing out there today. That is crazy. So a lot of it melted and then it just keeps having these snow showers. That is beautiful. So I've just got a little echo here. He's come to sleep with me while I edit this video. You tired little bud. You tired. He's so soft. So I baked these muffins the other day and I really, really, they are so delicious, I really recommend them. So I'll leave the link to the recipe below because I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed making banana bread um, and I highly recommend these ones as well. So, so nice. So I'm going to enjoy this now. I wish you could see the snow out of the window. I'll try and get it to focus on it, but it's not going to do, is it? There we go. You can kind of see it falling. It's so peaceful. Everywhere I look it's snowing and it feels like I'm in like a snow globe or something. I'll try and focus it back on me. It's gone dark. 
it's a little bit better. So it's gone really, really dark now. There's a huge cloud that's come over. Dom's just jumped in the shower, but I'm really hoping that I can coax him to go for a walk in the snow to Chris in my new coat. <laughs> Such a beautiful day. So, so calming and so cosy. It's exactly what I needed. I am feeling worlds apart from when I woke up this morning. I'm feeling so, so much better. I've drunk loads of water. I've had some coffee. I've had some really nourishing soup. And I'm going to have a nice buffin that I made the other day as well. Um, just for this in-between phase between lunch and dinner. Or dinner and tea, depending on where you're from in the world. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy some cuddles from Echo and just enjoy the beautiful day. I can't believe it's snowing. It feels like, I don't know, it just feels so magical. Maybe some of you out there will live somewhere where it's really snowy all the time and you'll just be like, what is she going on about? But it doesn't do this here, like, <laughs> it's so random. And it just looks so pretty, the village just looks so beautiful, so I really hope that I get to go out while it's snowing later on, or even if it's not snowing, I just want to show you the village because it looks magical. It's like something out of a film, the way it's piling up on the windowsill. So beautiful. This is my favourite part of the entire house. I absolutely love this window. It just looks so pretty. These houses in the background, where's my finger? <laughs> These houses are hundreds and hundreds of years old and they just look so gorgeous in the village. It's beautiful. Wow. Echo's not too impressed, he's just saying, I just need sleep, Mum. Look at this big lump of fur. Oh, I just want to tickle his little belly. <laughs> Try so hard to stand on this ball with all four paws. Crazy boy is using his bed again. He hasn't actually been in here since last time I vlogged, so I don't know if he knows he's on camera and he's just trying to impress me, but I feel pretty impressed. <laughs> he's doing some big blinks. I really, really, really want him to have a nap in there. Dom just put his goggles on to show me his snowboarding gear, I guess you could call it. <laughs> what did you just call them? Anti-bike technology. <laughs> you can't get me! <laughs> He's captivated. Captivated. <laughs> Cap -tiv 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 -tiv. <laughs> so we've got dressed up once again and we're going to go for a quick brisk walk. We've been trying to walk every day. Some days we don't manage it but we try our hardest to get outside because in lockdown you're in the house all day long and just sometimes getting out there, having a walk, you have a bit of a chat, a bit of a natter and it can just get things off your mind and it gets your body moving which is the main thing so that's what we're going to go do and then I think I might have a nice hot shower when I get back to warm back up. I've got quite a collection of shoes going on at the front door so I made the mistake the other night of going out with a coat that didn't have a hood and I took my Ugg boots and today I'm not making that mistake because I got soaking, we're having wellies today. You can hear me very well under all my layers. <laughs> I love this village because there's so many old houses and every single house is different, built in a different time period and it's just so nice to be able to walk around and look at them all and see all the different styles. It's my favourite thing to do. <laughs> I 
think you can just about see but it's starting to snow my plan worked i waited until the weather forecast said it was likely <laughs> Sleepy boy. My camera's all fogged up. anything better than when you've had a really cold walk coming back and getting nice and hot and toasty again and then putting your favorite pajamas on and everything smells so fresh Hello. <laughs> so fresh and so clean it's one of my favorite favorite things i really enjoy a candlelit shower when i feel like i need that extra i don't know it's like a cuddle isn't it it's just so soothing if you've never had a candlelit shower before i highly suggest it it's like 10 million times better than a normal shower and all you have to do is just light a few candles and turn out the lights so let me know if you do and let me know what you think about it i think that's going to be it for today's video it's just a normal sunday night for us so we've still got etsy orders to do and i've still got to make some tea for us to eat so i won't bring you along for that i'll leave that for another vlog um let me know what you thought of this vlog and if you enjoyed it i hope that you have a really brilliant sunday the rest of your day no matter what time you are watching this i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope that it's brought a little bit of peace and tranquility to your day so that's it from me i hope you all have a brilliant day and i'll see you all next week bye guys